This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so we will be starting our next topic, this work center. So the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see what is work center, work center overview, maintenance work center, maintenance work centers, okay, how the work centers are used in uh, customer service module, we will see usage of work center in customer service module okay why we need to use this work centers we'll understand functions of the work centers what are the different functions uh, 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 we can do using work centers we will see then we will see creation of work center we will create a work center in the system and we will see customization related to work center so today onwards we will be going into the customization also because this work center purely belongs to cs module the other other master data which we discussed in the previous session material master and uh, the business partner those are created or maintained by mm and uh, sdt but this work center uh, normally cs team will take care of it so we will understand the configuration part also okay so let's continue so first we will understand what is work center introduction to work center okay so work center usually represents one person or a department responsible for ensuring that the maintenance work in an order is executed by the work center performing the individual operation so work center is basically from cs module perspective either it is a group of people or one person one person or group of persons like one technician one service technician or a group of service technicians that is normally called as work center work center okay it specifies where operations can be carried out and who do so okay. who does the uh, service activity who is the technicians that you can you will come to know work center data forms work center data forms the basis for costing capacity and target date calculation nothing but schedule so the data which you maintain in the work center will be used for cost calculation your service cost calculation your capacity planning or capacity planning and for scheduling i will show you this in the system you use work centers to define which machine or personnel should be used for operations but this is from pm perspective from cs perspective the work center is nothing but a technician one technician or a group of technicians okay so this is the one you see it can be a single technician service technician okay who does the repairs or or who does the uh, what do you call uh, customer care help okay or a group of people a group of people a group of people or assembly team all these are called as work centers in customer service model. okay so now the data in the work center is maintained in these sections okay you maintain some data in basic data section some data in the default value section and in the capacities tab you maintain the capacity relevant information okay and in the scheduling tab you maintain scheduling relevant information and in the costing tab you maintain cost center activity type all those things and also if it is if this if you want to link it with hr you want to know who is a technician then you can link to the personal system also that is also possible i will show you this in the system okay so in the work center record you will maintain the data in these tabs in these sections basically okay so now we will create a work center we will create a work center in the system okay so as i just explained in the basic data tab you maintain work center name description of course standard value key is not used in cs module and in the default values you will maintain the control key most important one in the capacities tab you maintain all the available capacities formulas everything scheduling tab you maintain the scheduling basis and, uh, and the formulas okay and costing tab you maintain the cost center and activity types these are the main tabs where you maintain the information okay so now let's let's go and create the work center in the system okay so 
let me go to the system so the t code is as usual ir01 this is the t code create work set okay enter the plant enter the plant so i'll just create as ext service external service okay work center category what type of work center it is normally we will be using labor in customer service module the default category used is labor in plant maintenance module you use 005 0005 but here we will be using 0003 only labor okay enter or enter you will get the tabs the one which we just discussed basic data default values capacity scheduling all those things okay external service give the name for dg diesel generator okay i'll put like this service team service team for DG. okay so give the description now service category i have entered now person responsible who is a person responsible for this team you can enter the name here okay let's say i'll put plant maintenance mechanical supervisor this supervisor is responsible for this team okay that we have entered where they are located if you want to enter location you can enter the location but i'll just keep it as blank okay and this qdr system supply area is not for us these are for other modules just keep them blank and usage I'll enter as maintenance task list that means the this work center can be entered only in the maintenance task list task list so that is a that is a one now standard value key you bet just maintain sap zero the standard value key is used in pp other modules so you just we are not going to use it so you just keep sap zero no standard values enter so this is the data you maintain in the basic data section okay now go to default values here you maintain the control key so the normal control key we will be using is sm01 sm01 service internal that means the meaning is service internal means these people are our internal team our internal technicians okay sm01 